Так, погнали. Uh, let me show how uh, you can use universal common rail injector clamping device not only for common rail injector but also for unit injectors and unit pumps. As I already told, you can use this clamping device for any type of uh, truck unit injectors any type of passenger car unit injectors and also for any type of uh, truck unit pump. Let me show how use it for car unit injectors. As you know, uh, Volkswagen engine equipped with first and second generation uh, Bosch unit injectors and Siemens uh, unit injectors with piezo actuator. In order to use clamping device for unit injectors, we have to to adjust this clamping device. So we can remove common rail injector adapter plate and we don't need uh, radial wise for unit injector we have special adapter plate let me show how to install first generation of Volkswagen unit injectors. So we can do like that. Now it's fixed. In this position we can remove solenoid and valve, we can remove uh, nozzle nut with nozzle and if we attach this tool we can compress the spring remove spring and element for second generation of Bosch unit injectors and Siemens Continental unit injectors we can change position of adapter plate, install unit injectors to pin and fix it. And same, we can remove nozzle nut, piezo actuator, then we can change position of clamping device, attach special tool, compress the spring in order to remove element and check it. This is for passenger car. Also we can use this clamping device for unit injector of truck. We can use it for Caterpillar unit injector with 30 millimeters of thickness of the body. We can use it for A3 Delphi unit injector, E1 and E3 Delphi unit injector, second generation of Bosch unit injector, and first generation of Bosch unit injector. Let me show you. Again, we can change position of adapter plate. We can install unit injector to adapter plate. Find correct position of Axial clamp, 
fixed axial clamp and fixed unit injector. Now unit injector is fixed. Well, what we can do? We can attach special tool and with help of this tool we can remove spring and element. We can remove solenoids. We can collect all parts in stainless, stainless steel container. In this position we can measure magnetic gap. And also we can measure uh, stroke of needle valve. In this position we can remove nut remove old valve then we can repair valve hole with special tool, valve seat with special tool, we can use new valve, ok, so we can repair valve group of Bosch unit injector. Also what we can do, also we can remove nozzle nut. Check and ch change the nozzle. So you can see during 3-5 minutes both unit injector can be completely disassembled with help of the device. If you want to use this clamping device for unit pump, what we can do? We can remove adapter plate. We can remove axial clamp and we can remove shaft. For unit pump, we have two type of unit pump holders. Small one for Bosch uh, Mercedes Atego Axor unit pump. You can attach it. Fixed.
fixed unit pump with two screw. And work with Atego unit pump. Exactly the same we can do for uh, Mercedes Actors unit pump, Renault Duff unit pump. For this we can change holder, install big holder to turn able part of a plumping device and we can work with this type of unit pump. So what we can do, we can install DAF XF105 Delphi unit pump to this device. We can install previous generation of DAF unit pump and uh, Renault Magnum unit pump and Mercedes Actors unit pump. We can fix it. We can remove solenoid. And exactly same like for unit injector, we can measure magnetic gap. We can measure uh, stroke of valve. Also, what we can do, we can attach special arm. it Remove uh, touch controller and remove spring with element. So you can see we can continue like with unit pump, remove valve. Uh, repair valve hole and valve seat, choose new valve. So now with help of this device during 15 minutes I show you how use it for any type of unit pump and unit injector. Thank you.